Hello, so today's video is going to be on one of these, and they call these pulse oximeters, I believe, or oximeters, and the point of these is showing you what your blood oxygen level is. You'll probably had a doctor use these on you before in a hospital or um, you know, a doctor's surgery, but these are kind of essential at the moment with all the corona stuff, so a big shout out to Dr. John Campbell's channel, because I didn't know you could easily get these until he mentioned about them, and I've actually had a need for one now. So for those of you that haven't been following the videos recently, I've been having like horrible flu-like symptoms over the last few days, and the worry is how do you know if it's regular flu or corona without being tested for corona, which is easier said than done. Just a little bit of background for those of you that don't know the situation in the UK at the moment. If you have symptoms, you're meant to phone 111. If you phone 111, quite often they're saying, have you been to Italy recently? And if you say no or whatever, or you know, China or whatever, they say, you don't need to be tested then. So apparently lots of people who are then getting very ill and later turn out they might have corona, you know, or do test positive for corona, have got it, but they're just literally saying, oh, you're not at risk, so if we don't count you, basically, it doesn't make our numbers go up. Um, so, you know, not a good scenario. So, what these do is they tell you what your blood oxygen level is, and that's important because with coronavirus, one of the things that you end up getting is basically lower amounts of blood oxygen due to the pneumonia it causes where your lungs fill up with fluid. So, what this can tell you in a sense is if you've got a regular flu or if you've got corona, and then it, it could be a whole host of other things, obviously, but this is kind of an elimination tool, and it will also tell you just for peace of mind what your blood oxygen is. So these are very easy to use. So most of them, again, different brands are done in a different way, but you have an on-off button. So you turn it on, you open it up, you put your finger inside. Then what will happen is in a little minute, it will take a reading. On this one, the bottom number you will see, that will be my blood oxygen. So that's 99, that's very good. It was 97, 98 yesterday, so that's improved since yesterday at least. The top number is my heartbeat, that'll go up and down a bit. Um, so in general, I think resting heartbeat for most people is between 60 and 100, so that's in that range. Again, if I wasn't talking on camera, I'm sure that would be a bit lower. But you know, 99 uh, blood oxygen is very good. Let's just put on a different finger to um, see if we get a different reading. It's always worth doing that a few times. I don't know if it's quite centralised. There we go. It's taking a reading again. So in a minute, there we go. 99 again, 86. Let's just try it on the thumb on this hand. I don't know if it'll work through the thumb. Let's have a go. Yeah, there we go. And the same results, so we know it's working fine. So these, as I said, are very easy to use, and they're about £20 or under on Amazon at the moment. So you can use that combined with a medical thermometer to check your temperature, you know, a blood pressure device if you wanted to check what your blood pressure is. Um, but these are really useful because they obviously tell you if you're lacking blood oxygen, which can be quite dangerous. So you always really want it in a healthy adult to be over 95. Um, you know, most people end up being like 97, 98, 99. Of course, if you're a former smoker or a current smoker, your blood oxygen might be a bit lower than that. Um, and there's certain medical conditions where it might be lower anyway, but you kind of want to know what your average would be if you're healthy, therefore if it's going lower, if there's a problem. Um, but that's at least reassuring for me, so it's probably telling me I have regular flu, um, which is something you'd never normally want to say, but for me at the moment, you know, that's a good thing that I've got regular flu. Although the blood oxygen was lower every time I tested it yesterday and it's going up again. So that's good, but again, you know, I've had contact with somebody who had been on a skiing trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. So it makes you think, doesn't it? And again, the problem is at the moment, as said, not to be too dickish to them, but if you phone 111, lots of people are either being told they're fine, they don't need to be tested, or just go into your regular doctors, and then of course they risk spreading it if they've got something. So contradictory advice there. But for most people, these are great to have around the house because you can use them for a whole, you know, assortment of different things with blood oxygen. Um, it's not a thermometer, I had a load of people I was getting quite annoyed with on the stream saying your temperatures are way too high, you should never be like 99 Celsius or whatever. No, that's, that's, it's a, it's a blood oxygen monitor, it's not a thermometer. But again, no, no how to use these devices, again, they're very, very simple for most of them, because most of them will just literally show you your heart rate and your, um, you know, blood oxygen. So you can just literally look it up on a chart and see are you in a healthy range or not, like with a blood pressure machine. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'd kind of advise getting these, because if you're in a country like mine, it seems the medical response to corona is really, really kind of poor. And the issue that you're, you might run into is if you're displaying symptoms, how do you know when to seek help or not if the medical services are making it quite difficult? 
Or if you're, for example, in the United States and you don't want an insurance premium or have to pay a load of money, you might say, I can at least buy one of these for $20. It's worth using this rather than screwing up my health insurance or, you know, something like that. So there you go. Stay safe, everybody. It is quite a scary time we're in at the moment. Um, but, yeah, blood oxygen monitors seem to be a really good bit of kit that isn't all that expensive at the moment for actually, you know, doing a process of elimination with symptoms or working out how bad your symptoms actually are.